Uh, this is the Conqueror GC. This is a British Tier 10 SPG. And the map is Airfield. Oh, I got something in my eye. I'm going to get uh, 3,200 damage in this game. So I've been playing SPGs for a while. I'm obviously on Tier 10 with all of my SPGs. And what I've discovered on this particular map is I believe the best position is in this area. You can hit all the way along the beach area. You can hit in the middle. You can hit this sniping position. You can hit the heavy tanks over here. You can hit the tanks that come around. You can hit back here. You can hit all the way back here. You can hit over here. You can pretty much hit every position on the map except for like a few select little pockets. Uh, so we're going to nail that guy, I'm sure. Uh, I guess not. Okay, so I often knock the trees down uh, because I want to be able to get the additional cover later in the game. Now, keep in mind, the enemy really doesn't know where we are. I haven't hit anybody. And until, until you hit somebody, uh, your allies can't really help your SPG uh, to tell them where you are. And even though I do knock them down, that doesn't mean that I'm not aware that there might be incoming fire. I'm still going to keep on changing my position. Kronwagen. Um, I guess I stunned him is the best I could get out of that. M look at that. My ally did like 600 damage. I got 600 stun damage from that. Uh, one good thing about this vehicle is that it does have high penetration rounds. Not that high, but it's a little bit higher than the other SPGs. So when you are going after enemy tanks, I do so much damage with this if I'm going after weakly armored vehicles such as um, medium tanks, light tanks, tank destroyers, etc. So you can see that I can uh, reposition uh, towards this vehicle, which is an object 705A. I do have a 705A. I haven't played it yet, but I had fun playing the object 705. One of the reasons why I like to play SPG is because the games are a lot more relaxing and, uh, you know, my hands hurt sometimes or I've got a lot of packet loss or ping time. Uh, so because of that, I that's one of the reasons why I play SPG. And I happen to be pretty good at it. When I was playing to get the Burask Challenge, I played a lot of the games with the SPG because I was just getting more EXP. It was easy for me to get 800 EXP playing SPG. But when I played uh, tank destroyers, like the FV215B183, I wasn't able to get that. Because if you're in a, a winning game, you can't really chase after um, the damage. With SPG, you can. I did get a gun mark for this vehicle. So he do this vehicle does have one gun mark on it right now. In order to get the gun mark, I did have to make a few changes. I used the premium rounds. I stopped going after heavy tanks. I started going after mediums and uh, lightly armored tanks. And I went after high hit point vehicles instead of low hit point vehicles. When I did that, my average damage jumped up dramatically. I got the first gun mark easily. Getting one mark of excellence is easy. Uh, I think getting two is actually quite easy. Uh, to get three, I haven't really uh, tried to get three yet. But I will be working on it. It takes like 50,000 battles or maybe more to get gun marks on all your tanks. Maybe even more than that. I'm not, not sure. So I have 1,400 damage out of the... Uh, 3,200 I'm going to get in this game. I got 550 on the 60 TP, which is really good. Look at that beautiful shot right in the center there. And we got that K91 up in the north there that I could easily go after. I don't like playing those K91s. Actually, I don't have one. I don't like playing that style of tank, but I end up getting really great games in them for some reason. I have high win rates playing those tanks. Probably because, you know, I'm going to tell you why. 
The reason why is because you can't get close to the enemy because you can't – because the turret's in the back. So I have to stay back so I end up getting a higher win rate because I'm not being aggressive. You know, I'm not hunting the enemy down. I got to play more conservatively, and that's the reason why I pull it off. Oh, look at that. Two for one. What do we got here? We got an IS-7 and a VK-7201K. And they're both about to get X'd. You're going to get stunned. Yeah, look at that double stun. So it, it, the in-game is reporting 437 on the VK plus 247 stun damage from my allied SPG. You know, I actually run a clan. It's called CBSPG, which is for SPG players. If you want to play with other SPG players, you know, I started the clan six years ago. There were players who play more than 50% of their games in SPG. These guys are serious SPG players. If you like to play with other SPG players, Join CBSPG. I believe you automatically get accepted because, you know, you're amazing. Uh, so that was, I, I took out the EBR 105, Levi, Levy. Got 1,800 damage reported in game. The score is 8 to 7. One of the things that I discovered is that my win rate is impacted by how much control I have uh, over being able to take control of the game. With an SPG, you're reliant on your allies to spot for you. So my win rate is actually really low. But with tanks like fast tanks where I can go scouting out the enemy, I do have much higher uh, win rates. Because if, if nobody's doing anything, I can do something about it. But with an SPG, it's really difficult to do something when you when you got a lot of knobs on your team. Scores 8 to 7. Took out one tank. K91 still in the game. Not for long. That's the IS-7. He's low hit points, which means I could easily destroy him. I could totally decimate him. Going for that K91. He's also on low hit points. He's got like 102 hit points. Unaware of what's about to rain upon him from the sky. Ah! I got cheated. Uh, the Conqueror G, no, the Type 5 Heavy took him out of the game. That Type 5 Heavy is a known kill stealer. Uh, I refuse to play games with him. He's a horrible player. Okay, what do we got here? This is the, the, uh, the Grill 15. Weakly armored vehicle, 69 hit points. And he's out of the game. I nailed him hard. Goodbye, Alcent N2003. Okay, the score is 11-8. I got 1,800 damage reported in-game. I took out two of these bad boys. What do we got here? We got an FV4005. I'm going to tell you, it's got the same gun as the FV215B183. But I have both tanks. I think I prefer playing the FV4005. Not sure if it really is a better tank. but Or maybe I just got it equipped better. But it really hustles on the field. And I think I'm going to have better games with it. Okay, what do we got here? Conqueror GC. Oh, that's too bad. Warlord Invader. That kill stealer got taken out of the game. It's very quiet on the battlefield. Oh, look at that. He's out of the game. Last vehicle, FV 4005. Look at his amazing gameplay. Amazing positioning. Already safe. Hit him for 455 damage. Uh, I obviously made it easy. If it weren't for me, the STB-1 would not have been able to take him out of the game. Okay, so I got 3,200 damage in that game. I took out two vehicles. Uh, don't forget 
to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch. I have an SPG specific YouTube channel and my main channel has all sorts of different videos. I got a light tank channel, a tank destroyer channel, etc. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.